Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So what we're gonna be trying to do is buy golf equipment with just $100 and see how far we can go. We're trying to do this series for about a couple months, see how far it goes. If it continue to be a, a successful feat, we're gonna do it for as long as we can. What's our goal, $1,000 Foster? 10 grand. $10,000, so stay tuned for our next couple videos. First stop on our $100 to see where we can get with it with golf equipment is going to be to the Daytona Flea Market. Uh, we hear they're kind of hard to film in, so we'll check on how it goes. This driver feels nice. Dream light. I checked super short. And it's left hand free. It's left silver. Around. We need a new one. It's a Peking G400, but I mean, it's going for 160 bucks, not anything good deal. I'm looking at all this. You got a nice 640 Rage, 125 overpriced. So are these, is this a set? This is an iron yeah. set? You got a whole iron set up here. But yeah. price 225, that's actually not bad. These are RBZs. How much oh, look, do you pay for yours? Oh, uh, mine? Um, I think I paid a little bit more than that. Okay, so not that's anything not, we did make actually, money off of. It's actually not a bad deal though. But nothing we make nothing money, make money off over our yeah. original budget. Yeah. Huh? So first stop uh, that we looked at, it looks like we're not actually going to find anything that would make any money off of. Takes balls. Put this on your car. I'm gonna stop recording. Okay, so we're looking for some golf clubs over at Daytona uh, Flea Market, and uh, it does not seem to be going our way at the moment. But yeah. there's not a lot of stuff here. But we found one good shop. Um, they're nice guys. We may go back and see what we can get. But if that's the last case, we're gonna have to try to haggle and maybe do uh, some clubs there. Yeah, nothing that we think that we'll flip for anything more than about 10 percent what it's selling for. Yeah, so, so we're gonna be looking. We'll keep you guys updated. So did you find anything yet? Some hot boiled peanuts. <laughs> no golf clubs? No, no golf clubs. Some golf balls. Didn't buy any though. So we just got out of the Daytona flea market. It was basically impossible to film in some parts and got a little bit of footage but everything was at price or overpriced. I think, Joe, what'd you end up with? Golf balls and fidget spinners. That's it. Guess where we stopped for lunch? On to our second stop. We're going to Goodwill, see what we can find. Hopefully we get some better recording in there and you know, hopefully walk out with something. So I got some Woods, literally wood. Super uh, old three wood. How much were they going for? It's eight bucks. Five bucks. And uh, you think we're making any money if we even try to flip these? So, I, th I think we would make some money if they were matching. Maybe like a matching picture. Right? So no set. No set. And then junior clubs aren't worth it. So Goodwill end up being a bust. Bust. So as we said, Goodwill was a bust. We'll try probably another Goodwill, but I think now we're going to try to head over to Pawn Shop to see if we can find anything. Yeah, so we will keep you guys updated. Let's go! Let's go inside the thrift store. Ladies first. You got Taylor made the old burners, old Slashinger. Any, you know, I mean, you do have a set here, but how much are they going for? With nice grips. Yeah, it's not bad. They're like four bucks. But and it comes with a driver. Eh. Yeah, the key point. I mean, that's all individual. That's oh yeah, you're right. It's all individual. But if we can get it for like twenty bucks, that's this whole set too. Yeah, but I don't think you're making any money off of it. I would say another bus, except for possibly the Nike bag. It's a little too busted, now. yeah. Yeah, so nothing at least here. Mm -hmm. Another bust. 
uno, now on to the next place. We keep stopping by, so we'll figure something out. We'll get in something for you guys. They got some cool putters here, actually, and they got what looks like the yeah, partial set of Max Flies. But HOG putter, I don't see a price on it, but this one. You have to ask for a pricing usually. But yeah, this one might be worth doing and some wires. Just Let's see if they have anything else. Damn, let's just get some good results. Um, so it looks like we're looking around thirty-ish dollars. Okay. So let's see if we can do front of twenty. Some old school boots. Do they have a ninja hair? Um, it, yeah, I don't know. It's just we wanted the putter. Uh, but we can't do just the butter. I'm probably not gonna make a deal on it then for yeah. uh, that price. But I'll put the tag back up for you. Please, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Have a great day. You, you too. too. So one just sells the putter, unfortunately. What was the putter going for, unfortunately? Uh, the putter was going for anywhere from like 40 to 50 bucks. Um, but the rest of the set is not worth the money. Yeah, 150, we're over budget. True. That's it. So we got a whole set down to about 115 and we probably could have gotten negotiated a little bit lower to right around the full $100 price. But the set of clubs was probably worth right around that $100, if not a little less. The putter is what we needed, but they would not budge under selling just the putter. So to the next place. Yeah, it would have been an even exchange if we bought all the clubs plus the putter. The putter we made money, everything else not. So let's go. Okay, so we just came to another Goodwill in Central Florida. <laughs> and we happened to think they had no clubs and found this box. It was laying right there on the ground. <laughs> and then we found this and it's going for about 50 bucks. And so we're just gonna check kind of the values. We'll put the comps up on the screen and see maybe if this is a good start and see what we can, you know, possibly sell this back for. Yay! Woo! <laughs> so, YouTube, we figured out that the clubs are worth a good bargain. So we're, we found these clubs for 50 bucks at Goodwill after tax for 55, but it looks like we can sell them for about a little over a hundred dollars. And you know, that's a start to our up to five grand. That's a hundred percent profit right there, brother. Oh, that's like, what? Yeah, it's a hundred percent, right? Yeah, it's a hundred percent. We'll post them on Facebook and eBay, see what we can change them for. We'll definitely be, uh, I believe, making a profit. So it looks like we got some lightly used clubs. We start with the driver up here. Uh, we got the matching three wood, matching five wood, and a hybrid. And then we are gonna have four through sand wedge on these irons. And then it looks like it's bladeish with kind of a fat back on it style putter. Kind of a perfect to use little set for a beginning golfer, nothing professional worthy. Uh, shafts are probably just about regular flex, but. Something I think we could flip easily for around a hundred bucks. I'll throw up the comps on the screen so we could see, but a nice little start to the this first is, video. This was our last Goodwill. We didn't find anything all day. We thought we were bummed out. And then the last thing we saw on the ground was this box. So we got lucky, but don't give up. Keep going if you guys are doing the same thing. And thank you guys for watching our video. Um, and please like, subscribe, and uh, check out some of our other stuff. Have a good day.